Hey, what is up everyone? It's your boy, Big Sweaty, the Bearded Padawan. Um, I'm doing things a little bit differently this week. Uh, I have my phone on a mini tripod and I'm holding it right now. Like, you can't really see it, but you can see the giant blob that is me. Um, let's just sit down for a second and talk, shall we? I have been dealing with some, uh, health issue stuff, um, more than just allergies, uh, um, just because of the whole pandemic situation and work, I ended up with a thing called hypertension, um, which means my blood pressure is dangerously high. So I'm out from work right now, just trying to get those numbers down, uh, trying to, you know, manage the stress. Um, and, uh, today I'm going to show you the stuff I've been up to, to kind of help, uh, you know, de-stress and, uh, just chill out, you know? So, y'all want to meet my cactus? This here is Mr. Smee. Yes, I named him after Smee from Peter Pan, but he's cool. All right, let's go see what mom and the dog are up to. The almighty rumpus. What are you doing? So one thing I've been doing for kicks is I uh, started taking spare wood from downstairs and uh, making miniature plant stands for them. So uh, here's just an example of one that I made. Um, nothing too fancy. But yeah. If you need any plant stands, hit me up, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of plants, did y'all think I wasn't gonna grow more peppers this season? Let's go take a look at the pepper plants I got. Look at all these well, precious boys. Very excited to grow these. Yeah, good. Good. So, also, we got us a Carolina Reaper plant, baby. This is Reggie. He looks a little rough, but hopefully he'll deliver. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Kiki's a good dog. I suppose you want a treat? Sit. Speak. Huh? Yeah? Here you go. So the last thing to really give you guys an update on is the Lego table, which, true to my word, as long as it took me, I'm finally making progress with the table. Um, pretty much got all the base plates set down. I know where the track's going. I've started putting stuff in, so let's take a look and see what we got here. So as you can see, I still have this whole like Imperial base mock over here. Um, finish the base. Gonna be doing a little like mountain range. Not like a huge one. More of like a blockage right in that spot and kind of close this off. Um, got a little like ocean lake type thing over here with a cabin that I'm going to be putting in. Moving on down the board here, you got this uh, bit here where cars will come and go, um, and this little ring that'll go around here. Uh, along here, where like the Lego shop is, is going to be like storefronts and apartments, or I should say an apartment, kind of like there. Um, back here is going to be like uh, these kind of things, like I have this little like food stand, there's a little carnival pack there that I'm going to put back by the lake. Uh, you can see in the corner we got the <laughs> the mansion from Jurassic World, um, one of the dinosaurs chasing a camera guy. This was a pizzeria, like a restaurant type thing that I built, but I think I'm going to tear that up um, and build something a little more compact um, just to fit along the storefront here. Uh, got a house, uh, the weird radar building uh the new wonder woman set i ended up finding it early uh at my walmart so i picked it up um i built this like snowy mountainside tunnel type thing uh, i know it doesn't look the most glamorous on the ends but as far as like the actual like build it was really cool that i was able to do that so the train could fit under and then uh just to kind of round things off i got maz's castle over here that the train goes by um 
I still have a lot of work to do on this, but, um, you know, I've been finding, like, different, like, you know, packs and stuff of, like, foliage, trees, obviously, like, these city things uh, to work with. So it's, it's going to look really great once it's done, and um, I need to get the little bit here so the train track will come out and around. But other than that, like, the, the city's going great. I'm really excited to see how it flourishes. I guess an upcoming thing that uh, is going to be a bigger deal um, that... I can't include in this video yet, is I'm going to be having my second cosplay um, ready to show you guys. I know I've, I think I've mentioned before, at least I do have a Resistance Pilot outfit. Um, the only thing I don't really have for it is a holster and a proper blaster, but I don't need that right away. Um, but I ordered some stuff off of Etsy uh, from Far Far Away Outfitters, um, and I'm going to be doing my first Jedi cosplay, so I'm really excited on that. Uh, it's got a really nice old slash High Republic look to go with my Galaxy's Edge Saber, so I'm really excited to show you guys that. Um, should be shipping this next week, so fingers crossed it gets here quick. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really all I got for you guys this week. Um, I miss and love you all. I hope you guys are hanging in there right now um i appreciate uh the constant support if you haven't done so uh hit that subscribe button leave a like share with your friends um let me know what kind of nerd stuff you want to talk about or see and uh we'll see you right back here next time i'm the bearded padawan may the force be with you